Mobility and transport in our cities are powerful illustrations of the world's current triple crises. The pandemic has brought the movement of people in cities to a hold, hyperlocalizing and virtualizing our activities. The climate emergency is forcing us to recognize that the way we travel across and between our cities has make and break implications for global efforts re-establishing a safe climate. And seeing who has access to the city and who is excluded, or what consumes our streets and what contributes to urban life, makes abstract notions of justice and fairness comprehensible. For urban transport, the early 2020s are going to be an inflection point hard to overestimate. Digital connectivity will increasingly not just complement but substitute physical access. Public transport finance will require new business models and funding regimes. And the fiscal recovery packages and infrastructure investments being rolled out have the potential to either further entrench transport intense urban development patterns or accelerate progress towards greater proximities based on density and mixed use. The greatest initial risk to sustainable urban transport may well be a pandemic-induced increase in the use of private motorized modes and the perpetuation of car-centric urban development. This shift is more likely if the level and quality of public transport services are not maintained at pre-pandemic levels. Uncertainty surrounding the restoration of public confidence in mass transit systems could lead to a death spiral for public transport if the loss in revenues are not compensated by alternative forms of finance. At the same time, many cities witnessed increases in walking and cycling and attracted significant investment to support these modes, alongside a new form of localizing urban activities and transport. As a result, uncertainties not only exist in relation to future mode shares, but average travel distances in cities, including and beyond travel to work. Are we witnessing the shift towards 15-minute walkable urban districts utilizing digital connectivity for metropolitan and global accessibility or the persistence of a physically connected one-hour metropolitan region?